Warning, this house may contain nuts. Gonna be making a treat today. We're gonna roast up some almonds with a really nice coating, sugary coating, little bit of vanilla, cinnamon, beautiful. Now the good thing about these is once you've got them all roasted up and they cool down, then you could bag them up, tie a little bit of ribbon, got yourself a really nice little gift to give to someone, just something homemade and personal, lovely. Otherwise, if you've got your party, put a bowl of these out, your guests will love them. So hope you enjoy. It's a nice sort of simple recipe, but the results are delicious. So first of all, I just want to go through the ingredients. Now I've got my almonds, it's the complete almond, so it's a whole almond. And we've got 500 grams of those. Vanilla extract, one teaspoon. Ground cinnamon, one teaspoon. Then I've got some salt. I mean, we use a sort of good pinch of that, but I'd say about a quarter of a teaspoon. A little bit of oil, any oil, that's just the white with a bit of tissue on the sort of baking paper, just to make sure that these don't stick. Then I've got my sugar, brown sugar, 100 grams, and then white sugar, 100 grams. And finally, I've got my egg. Now what I'm gonna do is crack that into a bowl and just separate it so we're only using the egg white. So there's all the ingredients. Let's get the bowl, crack the egg, and get the egg white and make it all nice and frothy. So I've got myself a bowl. Now what I'm gonna do is just crack my egg. So I usually just tap it like so. Now, you can either separate it by sort of rocking it from side to side. Otherwise, you can even just put it in your hand and it will slowly dribble through. That's it, that'll do. So now we've got the egg white, what we need to do is to make it a bit frothy. Now you can do it with a, a fork like this. Otherwise, if you've got one of these balloon whisks, I'll speed it up a little bit. So I'll just keep doing that until you've got it nice and frothy. There you go. Now I'm going to add the vanilla extract. I'm just going to use like a capful. It's about a teaspoon. And again, just give that a quick mix. So now you've already got egg white flavoured with vanilla, so you know it's going to be good. Now next of all, just going to get my almonds. Hopefully this bowl's big enough. Just about. And I'm just going to kind of gently turn these over and just try and get it all mixed up. And I want all the almonds to have a little bit of coating because that's going to help it to stick. So carry on doing that until they've all got egg white on there. So I've just been sort of stirring those around just to make sure they're all coated with a little bit of that egg white. Now, if you've done too many almonds and you find that you haven't got enough egg white or if you've got a tiny little egg or something, then just go and break another egg and just put a little bit more in. Just make sure it's all coated with that egg white. Now let's put that aside and I'm gonna bring myself another bowl. I'm just gonna add in the sugar. Also, I'm gonna add in a little bit of salt. And then I've got the cinnamon. I've got a teaspoon of that. Now I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. Just get it all kind of evenly mixed. Then straight in with those almonds. And I'm just going to use a fork and stir this so that we've got, again, all that coating with the sugary mixture, a bit of cinnamon. There you go. I've been turning it over for a good minute or so just to really get it all nicely coated. Just check at the bottom of the bowl, make sure there's no sugar left. Let me just move the bowl out of the way again. And this time, I've got the baking tray. Now with the baking tray, I mean, I've actually got this sort of non-stick sort of paper you can put in the oven. You know, just make sure again, that nothing's sticking to it. But I also just use a little bit of oil sometimes. Any oil for doing this, I mean, you can use whatever you've got. Just give it a light sort of wiping over really. There you go. 
And then with the almonds, just lay them out. We can kind of separate them again in a minute. So let's just kind of separate these a little bit. There we are, all ready to go in the oven. So I switched my oven on, I've got it preheated. Now I'm gonna be cooking these almonds at 130 degrees Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark a half. So it's a fairly low heat, and as I say, we're gonna be cooking these for about an hour, so let's just place them in the oven there. Look at that, look good already. Shut the oven. Now set your timer for about an hour, but what I would say is about every 15, 20 minutes, you wanna just very gently turn over these almonds to get the other side a little bit roasted as well, but do be gentle with them. So every 20 minutes, say, turn them over. So we've been roasting the almonds for 20 minutes. Now what I thought I'd do is pull them out and we'll put them back on the table and then we're just gonna turn them over. Now you could sit here and just kind of try and do one at a time, like that. But obviously it'll take a long time. I'm just gonna scoop them up, turn them over. Try and keep them on the paper. I mean obviously you don't want to get too much of the coating sort of coming off, but you do want to turn them over. So just do it however you think is best for you. And also, if you can, just very slightly sort of separate them. So again, we're just gonna put those back in the oven. And obviously do the same in 20 minutes, and I'll see you when they're cooked. So let's just pull these out. Mm-mm. Oh, the smells. They're so heavenly. They're just absolutely delicious. Look at these. They sound crispy. They sound beautiful. Put those on the table. So I've just taken the almonds out of the oven. They are looking good. And honestly, I'm sitting here and the aromas coming from these, absolutely wonderful. Now these have really kind of hardened up and sort of almost like crisped up, roasted beautifully. That looks absolutely yummy. Now I'm gonna leave these for a little while just to cool right down then obviously we can try one. Now you didn't really believe I was gonna wait until they cooled down. I've gotta get stuck in now, because they look absolutely yummy and I'm just gonna take one of these. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. When they're warm as well, because you've got the taste of the almond roasted, and then you get that sweetie sort of mm, lovely flavor, and that bit of cinnamon, these are delicious, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna take one more. Mm. 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 That is heavenly. Now I am gonna wait these to cool down because I think it's what you're supposed to do, but they're so nice when they're warm. Mm. I might have to nick one or two more, but let's let them cool down, put them in some bowls, or obviously you could package them up for a lovely present. So I'll see you in a minute when they cool down. Now with the last of the almonds, because I've got three little bowl fulls, then I'm just gonna grab them. I've got myself like a, a clear little plastic bag. You know, you can maybe put your toffee apples in this sort of bag, but. I'm just gonna put the rest of those in here so they get a good, Good amount. And what you can do with this is serve it up as a little present. You know, you can offer it to someone for Christmas, Valentine's, birthdays. Got the last few there. So let's move that out of the way. Look at that. Got a nice big bag full. I'm going to put a little sort of bit of ribbon on there, make it look good. So I'm just going to grab the bag, just give it a twist. gold sort of ribbon there. Just 
just going to make a little bow yeah do it this way just like doing up the shoelace there you go now I'm just going to cut these bows and then make them go a bit curly There we go, look at that. Lovely little present, and I'm sure anybody who received those would love the taste of them. Now this is the one I bagged up earlier, and also I thought I'd just, you know, tip them out the bowls, put them into this nice, pretty little bag. A bit of gold ribbon, looks good. And there you go, I've got some really nice little presents to give away. I mean, that could be like the family pack, so I'll have that one. And these ones can be, you know, for everybody else. So. I hope you enjoyed my videos. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to subscribe, you like what I do, then please subscribe and click the button above. So see you again soon. All the best, the original Naked Chef.